Welcome to I Can Science That. We are once again examining this debate that happened between Austin Witsit and Professor Dave Farina. As I watched this debate, I found myself continually noticing moments when uh, Witsit would say something that really needed to be called out, but Farina just didn't. Once again, I think that Dave Farina really didn't take this debate seriously and didn't do that much research for it. So when Austin mentions that the sun lines up perfectly with these mountains twice a year, and Dave didn't say anything about that, I thought that was a serious missed opportunity, and that's why I'm making this video now. Let's hear Austin make the claim. We cannot see the mountains until the sun gets behind it due to the intensity of the, the light from the sun. You now get a silhouette and we can see the Kanegu Mountains. These should have been completely obstructed. You can buy a plane ticket right now for two specific days of the year and you'll know that you'll see the mountains because of a silhouette based on where the sun sets. Austin said these things during his opening statements and so it's really not that big a deal that Dave didn't have anything to say about it. But when I heard that, I couldn't help but think to myself, Austin, how are you predicting the location of the sunset? Now, myself, I have a model that allows me to predict how the sun and moon and stars will move throughout the, the sky, and I can use my location on the Earth and the time of year and the time of day to predict where these things are going to be. I might use something like SunCalc, which is based on globe geometry. Or maybe I would use Stellarium, which is based on globe geometry. Or maybe I would use Peak Finder, which is based on globe geometry. What model are you using to figure out which day to buy those plane tickets to make sure the sun lines up with exactly where you want it to be. These predictions are all based on globe geometry and orbital mechanics, and they work. You just heard Austin agreeing that these predictions work, and there are no flat earth equivalents. There are no flat earth models that can do this prediction. The best you can do with the flat earth model is to use globe geometry and orbital mechanics to do this prediction and then use Austin's transform to project the answers down onto a flat map. The problem with doing that is, of course, none of this makes any sense on a flat map. It only makes sense with the globe geometry and the orbital mechanics that you then simply project the answers onto a flat diagram. The flat diagram itself does not explain anything. It just shows the answer that you got from globe theory. 